MCOR is responding to Hurricane Harvey even before it made landfall. We were working with our conference disaster response coordinators. These are uh, the folks who uh, either as a volunteer or part of their conference personnel staff uh, coordinate and anticipate and plan for events such as this. Uh, and they were readying their resources and their, their volunteers uh, even in advance of the hurricane. And even as it unfolds, they are staging their relief supplies, they are um, anticipating response needs. Uh, even in speaking with them today, uh, they're already out there uh, securing resources so that they can respond more, more quickly. It is those people of the conferences in the United Methodist Church who are, of course, feet on the ground doing the response work right now. I would say the thing to do clearly first and foremost obviously is to pray for the people of Texas, the people of Louisiana, for those who are first responders, those who are helping, and of course all, for all of those who are in harm's way. Uh, they do express that they feel those prayers and it means a lot to them to know that we are surrounding them and lifting them up in prayer. People who want to do something can easily make kits, relief kits. Uh, that information is on UMCOR's website. Another thing that people can do clearly is to donate to UMCOR. 100% of the donor dollar goes to helping people in need. And it is one of the ways we can do that is through the advance for UMCOR U.S. disaster response so that those who want to give to Hurricane Harvey can contribute that, having all the confidence in the world to know that we work in and through our United Methodist Connection and their partners locally to meet the needs as they are identified there. I just want to say what a privilege it is to be a part of a connection of United Methodist people and also part of the National Voluntary Organizations Active in Disaster, that network of voluntary sector folks and generous givers is so powerful and really does make a difference in the lives of people.